Okay guys, we're back and um, this time I have uh, mixed it with pouring medium and this is the normal pouring medium. It's the 460, the normal thickness and I can tell you it's way too thin but it's an experiment so you guys don't have to waste paint. But I'm going to do it anyway because, uh, well, that's what this is all about. Experimenting. As you can see, it's really fluid. And it's going to be mixing in there pretty much, I guess. But we'll see. And as you know, the problem with this is that uh, when you pour it, uh, it's going to turn muddy really, really fast. And... Um, I just might even uh, wash this canvas if it doesn't work, but we'll see. I think that's more than enough because it's so thin. Maybe add a little more blue because it's just, uh... okay, let's do it. I don't think I even have to uh, tilt the canvas. Ew, it is like water. Well, interesting. But look how how fluid it is and you uh, when it's this fluid you won't be able to keep uh, the pattern it just doesn't work like that see that even though you might even think uh, the pattern is cute it is way too thin but we'll do a little <laughs> pouring uh, this is way too thin so people don't do this. Vallejo paint with normal pouring medium, not a good thing to do. Always use the extra thick. So now I'm going to come in with the, uh, with the other, you know, the base color. And as you can see, this also is as thin as the uh, one I poured. We might get some little cool little effects. You never know. <laughs> it's looking kind of cute, but wow, is this uh, fluid. This is really fluid. So I'm going to torch it right away just to get rid of those little air bubbles. There's still a few in there, but we'll see. I'm going to fill this up. But as you can see, it's way too thin. And I'm going to be tilting it a bit. I'm going to tilt it all over the place. So I want it to have enough paint so I can tilt. But even by adding the white here, it makes the whole uh, pour sort of get out of balance. See this? That I'm not going to be able to keep the pattern. No way that you can keep it. Let's do a little over here. We might just, you know, let it dry to see what pops up. But I'm not really expecting it to be. See, if it does this, you're absolutely playing with paint that is way too thin. Because normally it'll come down in one one line and now it's sort of just you know following uh, where it's wet well it's not too bad but <laughs> but not really something I would put on my wall as is you know I maybe I would uh, use it as a background and we might even do that so I'm gonna finish it off anyway and I'm not going to but look, see on the table, this is a sign where you got all these drips. This is a sign that your paint is really, really too thin. So good thing to do this, to see it happen, because then you'll know what's happening when uh, this happens to you. Then you'll know that the paint is just a little, little bitty too thin and it won't work. We even got some blooming here. See how that blooms? That's uh, because of paint density, and I had a couple of questions uh, about that this week, about um, silicone and about 
how come that I had some paintings that I got cells where I didn't even add silicone. Well, that's paint blooming. Um, that's just to keep it, you know, out of, um, otherwise you get mixed up. If I call this also cells, because there's absolutely no silicone in here. If I were to call this cells, then you'd be, get all mixed up when I do add the silicone. But, and also you can see it bloom. It's, it's sort of, it's not a nice round cell. As you see here, what's happening? It's sort of blooming and that happens when paint densities come into play. So the one has a heavier pigment than the other. And then this is what happens. The one falls through the other, making these curly cells, which I call blooming. And I'm going to add a little bit more on here because I see that the sides almost have no paint on them. And I, I do want to keep this one uh, for a transfer, so that's why I'm adding it again. I don't want to see the, uh, the linen, but you can. But we'll just see what happens when this dries. I would like a little bit more color on here, but can't have everything, right? We'll just see how that works out. Push it over a little bit that you don't see that too much. I kind of like that though. Let's see if we add something to it. Add some of that brown stuff. And this, but no background color. And give it a tiny little swirl with a little We'll see what happens. And I'm going to pour it right over like this. And let's see what it does. Yeah, I can see it starts to bloom. That's kind of nice. But I want more blue in it. And maybe I'll, I do want a little bit of that. Okay, putting it right over the top. Just to see if it'll bloom, because I think that might be something you guys want to see. Nah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't even think I'd use this as a background. I wouldn't because uh, it's not really appealing to me. Even if I were to put something really pretty on top, I would still not like it because the, uh, it doesn't look that interesting. And that's that. Let's see what happens when we do this. Hmm. Now I did add some silicone to it, as you can see, popping up nicely. Still don't like it. Got to work on this, people, because, you know, I hate washing a canvas. I think I've washed a canvas once or twice, but I usually I just want to go with it, go with the flow because um, I just want something to do a transfer on or something like that. Oh, and now you can see where the uh, silicone is uh, hitting and that is really not pretty. But we're gonna go ahead with this anyway and do another swipe. And see what happens. Okay, that's it. This one is going to get washed. Absolutely. 
this is uh, as you can see because the paint is so thin you can see uh, the canvas straight through and that's where the, the silicone is pushing away the paint so we're, I'm gonna wash this yep this is nothing uh, pretty uh, so when you're going to be using the Vallejo always check to make sure you get the extra thick pouring medium because that works and I'm gonna do a, a little bit of see what happens here when we do this I always want to make sure that you know I don't throw anything away that couldn't be made into something pretty but I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking not pretty so that's it okay guys thanks for watching and I'll be right back with the thicker pouring medium